Okay, something a little different on uh, Jay Reagan's or J Man's garage. Uh, we got a uh, snapper lawnmower that my mother in law and sister in law picked up. And uh, started the other day, but then when I engaged the blade on it, started smoking, spewing white smoke out of the uh, out of here, out of the muffler. And you can actually see that there is some goop on here. So this has been sitting for a long time at uh, the person's house who owned it. So I'm hoping it's not a uh, head gasket, which can cause this. So I'm just going to do give it a once over and see what we can find. Uh, possible that it's some, something with a carburetor. So we'll be back. So this does have a, a pull start on it, but I nearly dislodged my shoulder the other day uh, trying to start this thing 100 times. Uh, but it does have hook up for a battery for an electric start. Um, so I'm going to use the battery out of my Dodge Dart. Some jumper cables and see how far we get. And we've got a, a battery hooked up to the right terminals, I hope. Black to black, red to red, red to positive. Let's see what it does on here. Uh, choked. It did run, and it did run the other day too when I first took it apart uh, to clean the carburetor uh, with some help from Matt who uh, picked up the uh, color. So we'll just let it run here for a little bit and see what happens. So far, no smoke. But again, the last time it happened is when I engaged the uh, blade, so we'll try that in a little bit. Okay, it's now nighttime. I uh, mowed part of the lawn. But let me uh, let me tell you what went on with this thing. What was going on? Uh, it's going to go into the light a little bit. So here is the uh, oil that I drained out of the crankcase, and uh, you guys can't tell us, but this is pretty much solid gasoline. So what I determined was that. Um, the uh, float uh, needle and seat was not uh, seating properly, so I took the carburetor not off the uh, off the lawn because I didn't want to fuck with that tonight. But I was able to get the uh, bowl down, took the uh, needle and seat out, cleaned it out really well, um, and uh, readjusted it a little bit. I still don't think it's running 100%, but it's running a whole lot better. I was able to mow the whole front lawn, but. Uh, yeah, that's what we have. Look at that fresh haircut, guys. What do you think? Sporty, huh? Except for all the sweat and grease. Uh, anyway, so this is a video after I fixed the. Uh, oh, here goes my lights. Uh, after I fixed the, the tractor, like I said, um, what was happening is that uh, the tractor had been sitting for about three or four years. I think they said. Uh, it actually did start after we cleaned out the carburetor a little bit, uh, chopped some of the gas down the cylinder, make sure it ran, 
Uh, and then uh, I adjusted the carburetor. It was running pretty good. Uh, ran it around to the back to put it in. Uh, what I decided to do is engage the blade to see how it was running. And uh, it ran for a little bit, but as soon as uh, uh, it ran, it, uh, it started smoking white smoke out of the uh, exhaust and then just quit on us. So I was expecting the worst. I thought it might be a head gasket or something like that. However, when I came over here today, it started right up, uh, but then it started doing the same thing. It uh, started blowing white smoke. And then uh, I showed you, in, or I will be showing you in the video, um, what had happened. So um, needless to say, it is fixed now. And uh, this is kind of like a ending sort of slash introduction to the video. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm going home. Uh, another successful fix here on J-Man's Garage. See ya.